Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a BoxyCharm unboxing and today I did a try on kind of style where I put on some of the products or most of the products that I received in today's BoxyCharm and I have to say, if you guys want to find out what I thought about this month's BoxyCharm, then just keep on watching. If you guys are new to my channel and haven't seen a BoxyCharm video before, then um, you can reference back. I will leave some links of previous BoxyCharm videos that I've done in the past. I love BoxyCharm. They are one of my favorite companies that I have ever supported. Um, so I'm all for BoxyCharm all the time. So if you want to see this month's box and how it kind of went for me, then just keep on watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the box. I haven't opened it yet, so I have no idea. Well, I do know what's inside because I cheated and I looked on their Instagram. As soon as you open the box, um, you'll see this insert card right here. And uh, this just has all the products that are in the box. Um, the theme this month is called Alter Ego. And then it has the full list and description along with pricing. Um, about all the products that are included and then on the back you can usually find a coupon so there is a 10% off your next purchase on the a cosmetics website the first thing I see in the box is this thing right here this is a black bamboo charcoal peel off mask by Dermovia yeah so this is interesting it says uh, it's a lace peel with compression technology black bamboo char black bamboo charcoal peel off mask intense exfoliating facial mask with compression lace support so that's pretty cool I want to try that out the next thing in the box is this full size pharmacy facial cleanser it is a makeup melt away facial cleanser and then it says right in the front exclusively made for a boxy charm so it is kind of like this green uh, yeah, who am I kidding? I can't smell anything. It's a nourishing facial cleansing balm that melts away makeup and pollution residue. Even the boldest eye makeup and long wear foundation is easily removed. It leaves skin hydrated and silky smooth. So I'm excited for that. I know that pharmacy is a really good and high-end brand, so I'm excited for that. Next thing in the box is this, and this is a palette from Pure... This is the Midnight Masquerade palette. I guess this side is a face or face side and then this is for eyes. So I'm going to go into this color right here and this is called Enchantment. I guess it is kind of like a shimmery bronzer. So I'm going to take that and just top it on top of the bronzer that I already have. Add some on my nose. Whoa, that is super shiny. Wow. I don't like how shimmery it is. Next, I'm going to go into this shade right here, and this is called Hidden Secret. Oops. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Um, this is like, I don't think you can see on camera. Like, let me see if you can see how pigmented this is. Like, hello. That is crazy. Okay, my makeup's like a hot mess right now. But I don't have time. So next, I'm going to go in. Wow, I can't even use any of these shades right now because I'm going to work. So I'm going to go into this highlight shade right here called Twilight. And I'm going to put this all over my lid just because I don't want to use any of those crazy eyeshadows. <sighs> okay, I'm going to go with that bronzer color then. This, yeah, this, this is really bad. Okay. Wow, well, how is this even a bronzer? Like, what is this? Guys, this is their bronzer shade for your face. Like, who, where? I don't think I like this palette. It's actually pretty bad. To be 100%. At least for me, it could work for someone else. But I just put this color all over my lid. So I'm going to take this shade right here and just kind of put a little bit of that on my outer corner. I'm kind of scared because I don't want to look crazy for work because I am literally about to like leave my house to go to work. I don't have time to even fix this if it becomes a hot mess. 
So, we're just gonna roll with it. I'm gonna go in with this highlight shade and kind of put that on my inner corner. Um, just kind of bring some light into the situation. The next thing in the box is this Superhero Mascara from A Cosmetics. We're gonna try this out. I don't think I've, had, I've ever tried a mascara from A Cosmetics. So we'll see. This is the wand that it has. I don't like this mascara either. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm like under the weather, but I feel like this video is very negative. So I'm sorry. I promise I love BoxyCharm. But I feel like these products... I feel like I had way higher expect. This is horrible. Oh, I am so thankful right in this moment that my job is very dark. Like, it is very dark in there. Last thing in the box, and the only thing I have hope for right now, is this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the color Hawkind, or Hawking, Hawkind. Oh, this color is very pretty, but I really like this color. This is actually like the perfect fall color. Wow, I like this. Okay, guys, that completes this month's box. Those are the products that I received, and you know what? I don't know if it's because this is like my first try on BoxyCharm video, or because I feel a little under the weather, or because I literally have to leave for work in like five minutes. So, I mean, it could be a conjunction of all of those things put together, but I just feel like this was like a hot mess. Um, I am like extremely disappointed. Well, let's zoom you in. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I love the lip color. The cheeks, I don't really like. It kind of like broke out my foundation, kind of separated my foundation. I just feel like... Uh, it's not that bad. I mean, it's okay. I feel like it just looks like I have like a streak on my cheek. <sighs> I don't know. Anyways, that completes this month's BoxyCharm unboxing. I have really high hopes for the Pharmacy Makeup Cleanser, for the lace mask, and for this Kat Von D lipstick. Um, everything else is kind of like a bust for me. I'm going to try the mascara a different way. Um, maybe that'll work because it's it cosmetics and I love, I truly do love it cosmetics. I just, like I said, maybe it's just because I feel a little weird today. But, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't like love the box like I thought I would. I was like so excited when I got the box. But then again, every pure, pure, uh, pure, P-U-R, um, product that we've gotten in the box, I have been disappointed with. So I, I really didn't have high expectations for the palette, but definitely for everything else I did. Um, but yeah, leave your thoughts down below. What did you think about this month's box? Maybe I'm just being dramatic. I'm like sweating right now. Maybe it's that. I don't know. But let me know what you thought about this month's boxy charm um and yeah that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video